Good afternoon and welcome to Raymond Hap Spuler Field here in Fairfax, Virginia, where the George Mason Patriots host the UMBC Retrievers here in this men's baseball matchup. Brown hits this one in the center. This should be deep enough to get the runner home. Good catch by Smith. Schwartz able to easily score, but Floyd has to be held up at first. Payoff pitch back here. This one hit into right center field. Back is Smith making the grab. This will score a run. So UMBC gets both of their runs off of sacrifice flies. Get thrown high in the zone. Try to get him to chase at something out of his eyes. Make some contact with that one into right. Here comes the runner from third. And he's going to score to make it a 6-3 game. Haven't seen a lot of UMBC hitters work late into the count. Fly ball hit into center. Back at the wall. And good! UMBC cuts into the deficit and makes it a two-run game off of a home run to center field. And that is fairly deep into center field. That ball was hit hard. Look at it again. You see, that ball has hit over 400 feet. That is Brown's first home run of the season. They're going to go, and now they have the runner in a rundown. Hits the runner, and he's going to try to go and score. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. The Retrievers make it a one-run game. Great base running. Looking at this again, you can see him. He's way off a of second base. That's what prompted the throw. And then the throw to third off the runner. This is going to be pitch number 92 for the junior, Owen Hamilton. He strikes him out. And the retrievers go to the top of the sixth inning, down by one, through just a little bit under seven innings to this point. Here's the 1 0. This one up the middle. Easy play. And that's going to be a double play to end the inning. UMBC has the momentum. Can they get a run or two in the top of the eighth? Find out on the other side. Here's the 1-0. This one hit in the left. Back and it makes, cannot make the grab. The Retrievers are going to score one run and tie this game. The visitors were down five runs. And now they have found themselves evened up at six. Here's the one, two, ground ball. That's going to score a run. The Retrievers have taken the lead at eight to six after being down by five. They've got the momentum now. That's three runs in the eighth. Oh, how the tides turn. And even though this game isn't over, this is the lowest one that they've had so far with the other games they've had. And the receiver's going to run. They're going to score one more. A base hit to left is going to drive in a run. And the retrievers go up by three. Perfectly executed hit and run for Easley. On the base hit, picks up the RBI. Here's the payoff pitch. It's high, and that's run number 10 for the Retrievers. Started off with that double in the second inning, but since then, as we've talked about, he's been fairly quiet. They're going to say he got hit on that pitch. It's a balk. Oh, it's a balk. Yeah, my apologies, it's a balk. The wheels falling off for the Patriots here in the top of the eighth. They led to start the top of the eighth. They have given up six unanswered runs since then. And if you go back to the third inning, they've given up ten unanswered since then. Here's a 2-2. Grounds one past the third baseman. Another run comes home. Make it two. 
It's all retrievers here in the top of the eighth inning. All over Fairleigh Dickinson, nine to nothing. Runner goes, another base hit, and another run scores for the retrievers. Here's the throw to third. Not going to get there in time. Heavy offense for UMBC. Here's a 2-1. This one hit into right. Back at the warning track is Maceda, and he ends it for the retrievers. An incredible comeback for the visitors, which found themselves down 6-1, to one, had an incredible rally in the eighth inning, and the Patriots tacked on four runs, but it was too little too late.